hello and welcome to another weekly reading vlog today is monday october 9th and this week i am going to be reading thrillers i have three that i want to get through um and so we are going to start with a flicker in the dark which i'm really excited about i've seen a lot of people talk about it um so this is the one we're going to start with today i'm going to go downstairs and make a coffee and then i need to leave i'm going to meet my grandmother for lunch um so we are starting this last week um i last night i finished wildfire by hannah grace it was really good um i also finally finished the fourth book in the ruthless boy series but i was also listening to the audiobook of crush and that expired so i do have the book and i could also you know read it in the book but i'm kind of just hoping that i can get the audiobook back um, so last week was not great. I was like hopping around. I normally only read one book at a time and I was reading way too many at once. So this week we were focusing solely on thrillers. So I'm going to go make that coffee and head out to meet my grandmother. And then afterwards I do have to do some homework today, get started with some things, but I'm going to read this book, um, as well. So I think later tonight I have plans, so we'll see how far I get into it today, but I'm going to try to read a chunk of it. So here's a little uh, OTD. Um, yeah, so this is from Aerie last year. It looks the same as like the ones I currently have that are just the crew necks, but this one's like a v-neck. I've just got some jeans and my Boston's. So that's kind of the look. Going to meet my grandmother for lunch. So time to go. <laughs> Hello, so update. Um, I my plan was to get here early so I could read my car um, and I showed up and I was like let me check the hours just in case because this has happened multiple times when we try to eat downtown um, the places have weird hours this man just saw me talking to a camera anyways so the place indeed is closed on Monday and Tuesdays that my grandmother wanted to go so I tried to call her she didn't answer so I texted her she hasn't answered so I guess I'm going to sit here and read until she responds to me about where else she would like to go down here um so yeah <laughs> Right, so I already have beef um, I've only read the prologue but let me know why the words go all the way to the bottom of the page like that just feels wrong and I don't like it also I literally just parked here and I'm waiting on my grandmother and the parking control guy keeps coming around and I made eye contact with him like sir I just parked here um because it's two hour parking and we're supposed to eat at 11 30 so like surely I'll be gone by one <laughs> but i'm like sorry i just parked here please do not mock my car i have not been here an hour i promise update i am home now um i'm gonna work i have two papers that are due on monday and tuesday next week so my monday night class got canceled so that we could work on our paper so i'm gonna go ahead and work on some of that and then i'll do like i'll finish it probably next weekend but i'm gonna spend about an hour or so working on the assignment and then we'll get back to reading. So that's what I'm gonna do really quick. Okay, so update. 
I did indeed finish, well I didn't finish, but I got a good chunk into both essays. One of them is basically done, the other one's got like a good start to it. Um, but I'm at my boyfriend's house now, he's about to pull up, he's not here yet. Um, I still have only read the prologue of this book, so I'm going to read more hopefully today. I don't know, we had talked about watching the second Harry Potter movie tonight because I'm trying to rewatch all the Harry Potter movies because it's spooky season. So I will keep you updated. If not, I will probably read when I get home later tonight for a little bit. So I'll let you know. I'm home now. Uh, I only read to page 20 <laughs> um, because we did end up watching Harry Potter. We didn't finish the movie, but we started it. So I'm going to read just a little bit before bed, but I'm not gonna film anything else today. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. I have to work and I have class, so might not get much reading done tomorrow, but I will update you when I do. Post work update, it is Tuesday, and I did get about 100 pages into the book last night before I went to bed. Um, I have class in a little bit and I need to get food, so I don't know how much I'll read today. I'll probably read before bed again, but that's the only guarantee I have. So, I need to figure out food, because I literally, it's like four o'clock and I haven't eaten today, other than like a handful of popcorn when I walked in the house and I'm starving so <laughs> gotta figure that out first okay so it's Wednesday um I worked all day today so I've only been home for like an hour um I did, indeed did not read any more of a flicker in the dark yesterday but I am 34% of the way through Tom Felton's um audiobook um Beyond the Wand so I did listen to this yesterday and today in the car a lot so I did kind of read <laughs> but i'm gonna go sit down and read this now um so yeah let's do it update i am now 212 pages into this i will definitely finish it tonight um the person i was kind of thinking was behind all of this right now it looks like they're trying to confirm that they did it but i also feel like that means that they didn't do it because it's too early to say that this person is the murderer but also, I did see from some people that have read this book that it doesn't really have the plot twist. It just kind of goes and you just kind of follow the story. Like, it's not going to be like, oh, wow, that came out of the blue. So, I'm not sure what to think. I have like 120 pages left. So, I'm definitely finishing this tonight. <laughs> in the dark I gave it four stars I actually like didn't re like I don't know how I didn't see that coming but it all made a lot of sense okay this was really enjoyable I liked this a lot four stars um, I would definitely recommend this please read this book because I really really I like I really enjoyed it I read majority of it today <laughs> um, yeah it was good so first thriller down i really enjoyed it so now that i finished that book i am going to go ahead and start the next book this is actually a mystery thriller um and it is the retreat by sarah pierce i read the sanatorium which is book one this is book two it's following the exact same detective i remember the first one being a really quick read which is why i'm picking this up next because i think that this will be a fast read for me so it is more of a mystery thriller but we're gonna get into it.
hello it is thursday i do have to work at three um and it's almost noon now i'm going to read some more for this before i have to go into work um i read to page 38 last night so i didn't read very much just because i was like tired at that point um but i'm gonna try and get a chunk of this today especially like after work because i would really like to have this book finished by tomorrow so that i can accomplish reading the three books i wanted to read this week because i do have one more um but we will see so i'm gonna get into the retreat and yeah <laughs> for work now but I did get to page 208 which is really good so I will definitely finish this book tonight um it is like essentially just like the first one a nice little whodunit kind of thing they are basically like on this island this retreat on this island that has a history of murders and now people are getting killed and so and her boyfriend is the one who created this retreat which is interesting so it's the same detective from the first book um not like the best thing ever but it's still good and the chapters are short and they switch between the perspective of the detective and the perspective of one of the guests whose sister is the one like the body they find so it does have back and forth pov i love the way that looks but i have to move my bangs in order to do my um mascara so i've read flicker in the dark this week i will probably finish the retreat tonight and then tomorrow i will start like a woman missing um i also need to read uh the sequel to nuns shall sleep i think it's called some will break um because i checked that out from my library last week and it's just been sitting in my car i haven't touched it yet i the reason i checked it out from my library is because i read nuns shall sleep and i really liked that book and so i wanted to buy some will break but it's not on paperback yet and i need it to match so i just went ahead and checked it out from my library and when it comes out in paperback i'll probably buy it if i like it also obviously as i said i think yesterday have been listening to tom tom felton's beyond the wand audiobook it's really nice because he narrates the audiobook um i'm like 30 percent of the way through that i think i have like a little bit under five hours left probably listen to that on the way to work and then on the way home from work that's kind of my like when i'm in the car book anyways i will update you later i'm gonna finish getting ready and then go to work Okay, so I worked late tonight. It's still Thursday when I got home. I did come home and finish the retreat. So I finished it and I gave it three stars. It was good. Still not my like the best thing in the world, but it was enjoyable. Um, tomorrow I'm going to start Local Woman Missing. So I'm excited and hopefully I can finish that before this vlog is over. So with that, I'm going to bed and I will see you tomorrow morning it is friday and i'm starting local woman missing today this is the last book um, that i was hoping to read this week so i'm gonna do some things i'm gonna get started and i'll keep you updated i literally filmed nothing today i was sick most of the day like i have not felt good today got home a little while ago and i did finally start local woman missing i don't know what happened but I was just reading and uh, next thing I know I'm at page 100 and it's like midnight. So I'm going to go to bed. But I did get 100 pages into this book today. So and it is really good already. I'm hooked. The back and forth between then and now. Uh, this is going to be really good. So I'm going to go to bed. I have lots of things to do tomorrow. Um, 
I'm going to like an art festival kind of thing in town and then I'm covering pumpkins tomorrow night so I might not read a lot so yeah and with that good night so I did not film anything yesterday because I was busy I also did not read yesterday um so it is Sunday and we are on page 130 of local woman missing and my goal is to get to at least 200 maybe finish it tonight but we will see and I will keep you updated so let's get to it forget to finish the vlog last night but I did finish like a woman missing I gave it four stars this book was really good I quite literally couldn't put it down I loved it and the plot twists just kept on twisting okay um so that is going to be the end of the vlog if I had to rate the three thrillers that I read this week I would probably put local woman missing as my number one and then my number two would be Flicker in the Dark, and then the last one would be The Retreat, as I gave that only three stars, and the other two I gave four stars. So, I really enjoyed it. Here's to another week of reading, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.